Hi guys, welcome back to Fab Finds by Keetra. So if this is your first time joining my channel, welcome, welcome to Fab Finds by Keetra. And if you are returning to my channel, hey boo, welcome back. You already know I got you over here at Fab Finds by Keetra. It's my new booze that we are trying to woe in. So ladies and gentlemen, let's roll out the carpet for the new booze. Not just any carpet, honey, no. Let's roll out the red carpet for my new booze. Yes, welcome. Okay, so as you are walking this red carpet, when you get to the end, I'm gonna need for you to go ahead and click that subscribe button. I'm gonna need for you to hit that bell for notifications. And I'm gonna need for you to go ahead and give this video a thumbs up because I know you are going to love the content. And also, go ahead and leave a comment. Let's connect in the comment box. But you know what? I wish YouTube would give us a love button because there are tons of content and con tons of videos that I really just simply want to just, I love watching. And you know, just a simple thumbs up like, am I being too much? I need a love button, okay? And I'm pretty sure the rest of the YouTube family needs a love button too. So YouTube can assist to get a love button, I'm just saying, okay? Okay, so anyway, on my channel, I cover all things fabulous. Yes, honey, it could be anything. Anything that I find and deem to be fabulous, I'm gonna come back here and I'm gonna share that with you. But for the most part, I mean, what I do bring back to the channel is fragrance content because I am a fragrance junkie, okay? And um, yes, I don't, I'm not asking or seeking for counseling or help. No, I don't want any of that. I just want to continue on with my little fragrance junkie life, okay? And I want to just, you know, get with like-minded fragrance junkie people in my life because that is what we're going to do. That's how we connect because we have a love for fragrances. So welcome, welcome, welcome. Okay, so let me just go ahead and tell you, in one of my videos, I did a tag video and I talked about my wish list. Well, on my wish list, there was a wish list item from the house of Siage. Yes, I do not own a cupcake. And I could not believe that. Like, I was like, what is up with that? Why don't I own a cupcake? Like, I love fragrances, but why didn't I find a cupcake? Well, what I did notice is that I had been searching for the perfect cupcake for about three years. <laughs> and that could be the reason why I did not have a cupcake in my collection, because I just couldn't find one that just really just fell in love with, with me and my body chemistry. I kept spraying and trying and it just wasn't working. So of course, fast forward, here we are. Sheree Lewis, yeah, thanks to you, darling. She did this whole live event when they launched uh, this certain fragrance from the house of Salon, from the house of Siage, not Salon, honey, not Beyonce sister, but the house of Siage. And she talked about it. And let me just go ahead and tell you, it is, was actually the Wonder Woman collection. So yes, my first cupcake just so happens to be from the Wonder Woman collection and I will tell you why. So at first I thought, you know, after reading uh, other uh, YouTube reviews, I thought to myself, I just knew it was gonna be love is in the air. Like I, I just knew it because uh, Perfume Lover 80, Miss Terry had sent me um, a little travel, a little, um, I guess it was a discovery kit from the house of Siage, and I absolutely fell in love with none other than Love is in the Air. And so I just never pulled the, I just never did it. I just never made the purchase. And so, of course, fast forward, here we are with Sheree. Um, she was talking about how she felt when she got this fragrance and she had been wearing it and how she, how it just made her feel. And the thing of it is, is that it meant so much because I think it had so, well, I'm going to tell you my story and how I ended up with the Wonder Woman collection from the House of Siage. Okay. So in her video, she asked the, this one question and it is, who is the Wonder Woman in your life? And I thought to myself, and so many wonderful, fabulous mentors, family members, aunties, moms, like so many people went through my head at that time. And when I thought about it, I had to just honestly come to the grips of, um, I was dealing with something for myself. 
And I realized that at that moment and at that time and at that see during this season in my life, I am the Wonder Woman in my life. And I'll just tell you quick story, and then we're gonna get back on to this fragrance because yes, she tells a very beautiful story. So of course I was um, out and I was actually getting my concealed handgun license, honey. Yes, you can be pretty and packing at the same time. That's what my husband said. And so while I was there, needless to say, I um, suffered a little hearing loss. Well, I lost hearing in my left ear and I lost some hearing in my right ear. And so I went to the doctor after my hearing um, did not kind of recover and come back. Um, and lo and behold, when he told us that I was going to have to have hearing aids, it was just a moment in my life that I thought, wow, like, where did this come from? I felt so broken and I just, I, I didn't, I didn't understand. Like I truly did not understand. I could not process that here I am and here I was, I am still a young, fabulous, beautiful woman and I need hearing aids. And my husband told me when we, you know, when we got the news, and I'm going to try my best not to lose my tears here, um, that he said, it's okay, boo. It's all right. Everything is, everything will be good. You're going to be good because you can still smell your beautiful fragrances. And I thought, you're right. I can. I can. I can still enjoy my beautiful fragrances and I can still come here and talk to you guys about the experience and give you guys the full on experience of what I experienced through one of the things that I still do have. And that is my sense of smell. So here we are. Okay. So I'm the Wonder Woman that's <laughs> that is here for me and i'll just tell you what i got from this fragrance when it arrived i was so eager to try her and i was so excited about her okay of course you know guys i had went ahead and per made the purchase and while it was in the mail coming I was reading over the notes and watching other YouTube videos about this fragrance and I was just even more excited to get it once it came. So of course I'll go over a couple of the notes with you guys and of course it has Davana, it has pink pepper, it has raspberry bergamot, it also has almond musk and of course any good scent that has vanilla in it has my name on it. So I tell you, I absolutely loved it and could not wait to get it and try it. So of course, when it arrived in the mail, it came in this very gorgeous box full of color. And I'll just tell you, even the box made me happy. The box put a smile on my face, okay? I was beyond when I opened it up and I saw it in all the pretty colors with the gold detail with the Wonder Woman, honey. I was like, look at me. I am a Wonder Woman. I am my own superhero, honey. Yes, I am. And so, of course, when it comes, you open the box and your fragrance is nicely tucked in the inside. And of course, you pull this little thing down right here. And there she is, honey. Look at her. She is so gorgeous. Look at that cupcake just sitting in there getting her whole entire life. So I will tell you, I think they gave me the wrong card. Um, you girls tell me what yours says. Because my little card in here says... That this is, of course, the House of Siage Wonder Woman 1984 collection. But it says, congratulations. You are now the exclusive owner of the limited edition bow lipstick. I don't have the lipstick. I have the cupcake. So I don't know. Should I have gotten a different card with my cupcake? Because I didn't get the lipstick. It would have been nice if I would have gotten the lipstick with it, but I didn't get the lipstick. But, you know, it is what it is. That's okay. So I'll move on about that because the juice in the bottle really did it for me. So, of course, it comes. Oh, my God, girl, look at that. Look at how gorgeous. She 
makes me happy. Look at the diamonds. Well, they're not diamonds. They're some Swartz crystals. <laughs> That's what they are. They're not diamonds, but hey, they're diamonds to me. Um, so, okay, so let's go ahead and get into this. So, of course, it comes with this little cleaning cloth. That way that you can clean your bottle and remove all the unwanted fingerprints that you're going to get because you are going to grab this every chance you get. Well, I grab her every chance I get because I was absolutely just kind of floored with when I sprayed her because I did not know what to expect. And of course, when I sprayed her, guys, let me tell you, she smells amazing. Oh my God, there's just something sweet. Oh, and just mesmerizing. Oh my goodness. Girl, I'm gonna turn into Wonder Woman on the spot. Yes, I am. Oh my God. Oh, she smells so soft and so light and just, she smells gorgeous. She really does. So of course, I'll give you some little backdrop about this, okay? So with the um, cupcake, it is actually, the bottle um, is made from the highest quality honey of a French glass, I believe it, okay? There's a little French in me, yes it is. Um, each top, of course, is hand painted. And I absolutely love that. Look at how gorgeous that is. Of course, I mean, just the whole everything. The presentation for this cupcake is amazing, okay? And each cap, of course, is adorned with 100 Swarovski crystals around. So as you see, you have the crystals all the way around here. You have some on the WW uh, for the Wonder Woman logo there. And of course, you have the House of Siage there with the Wonder Woman right here and i just love the crystals with that and of course you remove the top and on the top it has the wonder woman 84 with the wonder woman uh, 1984 collection house of siage on there the one thing i wish they would have done now correct me if i'm wrong they said that there was like 400 of these that were made and it would have been nice if they would have numbered them if they are numbered, I mean, I looked all over the planet for a number, girl, and I didn't find one. So if you know where that number is, let me know. And who knows, maybe it did not come with one. But that would have been nice because it would have let me know, oh, okay, so I got number 250 out of the 400 that were sold. That would have been a whole experience and vibe right there. Yes, it would have been. But for the most part, so I was talking with um, Perfume Lover 80 miss terry and she was talking about the fragrance and we it was kind of like we both had this we had different expectations for this fragrance when she got it she was looking for something that was more bold and something that was more fierce because it's wonder woman and what i got i'm gonna tell you ladies i got the total opposite I think I got the character that she is before she turns into Wonder Woman. Because when I spray this scent, although it is gorgeous, honey, it is absolutely amazing on my body. Oh my God. I sprayed it. And let me tell you, I walked in and I left. And one of my coworkers was like, okay, you have got to tell me what you have on because you smell amazing you smell so gorgeous and so pretty and i thought girl that's my inner wonder woman honey that's that house of siage you better get you a cupcake and i'll tell you when you spray it you do and i do spray heavy and and that's one of those things with this scent because it is light you will over spray like you will spray 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 because you feel like Oh, I'm not getting anything from it because it's so soft and it's not intrusive. Like it's very elegant. It's very classic. It's very like it's not to me. I don't get bold. I don't get in your face. I don't get that with this fragrance. Now, what I do get the bold in, is with the decorations. I get the boldness with that. I get the bold out of the packaging, but the juice in the bottle Girls, it's, I'm going to spray down. Oh my God. See, that's how you overspray with her, girl. Oh my gosh. Oh, the dry down on me is so amazing. It smells 
It smells good enough to eat. It smells so creamy. It smells so, it's not like a rich in your face. Like, I don't get that. It's very soft. It's very elegant. It's like that cupcake that you go in and you pick up and you're like, oh, that's a nice, beautiful cupcake. That's what you're getting. That's what I'm getting. I don't know. Tell me. If you have this scent, do you feel the boldness? Do you feel the in your face? Do you feel that? Like, I don't feel it. And I don't know. And I think maybe that's what it was, was because they named it because it's Wonder Woman. So you automatically think bold, fierce, fearless, take on the world. And I honest, I just don't get that. I just don't get that. But I will tell you this, um, because of my very own finding my inner Wonder Woman peace and strength, I am reminded every time that I spray her that I should do more of what makes me happy and be thankful and be grateful for the things that I am still blessed with and that's what she does for me. It's a reminder to, you know what? You wake up and you take on the world the best way that you can and the best way that you know how with the tools that you have. And you just wake up and you be fabulous and you be fierce and you be bougie and you live your best life and you do you, boo. That's what you do. So guys, Thank you so much. I hope you have enjoyed my cupcake, honey. Yes, girl, we had cupcakes. I hope you have enjoyed it. And again, until our next Fab Fine, thank you for stopping by Fab Fine Swikitra. Smooches.